hello again welcome back to my channel and in this video i have with me a wireless uh, hig vision router this is the model number ds 3 wrmvn and in this video i'm going to show you how you can configure this router you can set up the wireless name wireless network name you can set up the password um just configuration of this router how to log into this router and uh, your configuration and uh, I have the uh, five volt uh, charger for the router of which I'm going to insert on uh, this this port this is the port for the power and the other end I'm going to start on the power in uh, I have this uh, LAN cable and I'm going to insert uh, to my I'm going to insert to either um, port 1, port 2 or port 3 for the purpose of configuration I'm going to use this first not the one key, the one port the one port is for the internet so in this case I'm going to insert on either of them insert them and uh, the other end I'm going to insert on my PC on the plant port on my PC. Then we are going to log in now on our PC. And our browser will open. It will open by itself. And here we have this uh, interface. Here is our Wi-Fi name and this is our person. I'm going to change this Wi-Fi name. My name and uh, my Wi-Fi password to so my name for video purposes. So you can do it And uh, up here we have this uh, other dialog box, right? The dynamic IP address and static IP address and uh, IP Okay, I'm going to stick uh, with dynamic for this video so that we can connect with the one port at the end. Click save. Now here we have to set the router login password. You click go to setting and here we have our router login password. Set that the same name. You type it again. Go down here the one parameters. I'm going to leave it as such. This is the one parameter. You can use that just to change your IP address. Uh, for my case, I'll change it to and this is submit mask. And then here we have the DTC server. Uh, once you disable this, it will uh, avoid a conflict with the service provider if you are just extending the water. And um, you have web remote management. This you can say, okay, I change the date uh, in the geographical location. This is my geographical location. Let's go skip all this and enable the maintenance. Save and login. Your login IP address will be changed to 182.168.0.2. And the router will reboot. You give it a second. Now you click your login password. Damn. Say it's a save our password online to ease our access of remembrance. So, here is our status. We are not connected to the one that is not connected. And if we change a uh, connect our one for two things, it will uh, this will be connected. This is our router setting. If you want to do any other configuration, if you want to set your router to uh, wireless and uh, AP mode. This is another configuration you can do. Uh, you can set your password, security password, you can change, hide your network. And if I go here and uh, check my network, open, open my Wi Fi setting, what is playing? I get this my Wi Fi name, and this the name we created right here. And you have the client management, advanced features, this other one, another video. So 
to guys i want now to connect my my router to okay i will take this i'll take this that is was connected to my computer this was connected to my computer and i will connect this to my i'll connect to this one port and uh, the other end i will connect to let me show you i will connect to my service provider i'll use this as service provider and i'll uh, connect it there you will see here it start working and uh, you can note our our status will be connected very soon let's wait and yeah press and our status is now connected you can see yes, the yes. nsb you can see the wireless setting is now connected we now have internet on this router now this router has internet and uh, thank you guys for watching if you like the video please uh, consider subscribing for more videos